life reading and in this reading Scorpio we're going to look at who you may have been what your purpose was and your life lessons and how that may impact this life before we jump into that Scorpio just to let you know uh, below this video you will find all the info on how to book a reading or healing with me and also um, the the link is there to my uh, immersive learn tarot journey the initiation of which the doors are always open and you can join that at any time to get immediate access to um, a lot of uh, really great uh, learning materials on how to begin reading the cards intuitively for yourself right now. So let's jump in. I've got six tarot positions here which I'll clarify as I go to go deeper into the past life message. We have two oracle cards and we have the five of cups as your lead tarot energy which also appears in the reading. So the first oracle out was pranayama and pranayama is a yogic practice it is breath work pranayama or prana is the life force energy as well so i really feel that um th those practices may benefit you in this lifetime as well Together with Atman, which is about, you know, realizing the infinite nature of your soul, you could have been somebody in a past life who was practicing uh, yoga or yogic kind of uh, philosophy, yogic practice, that kind of thing, or you may be really drawn to it in this life, okay? So that's really interesting, and it's, you know, really for the purpose of ascension, for getting that life force energy moving through your body, because as a lead tarot energy here for you, I have the Five of Cups. And it's really interesting because this is an energy of grief, of loss, of sadness. You may have had a, a life of some kind of sadness or loss. You could have lost a child. You could have lost a, a, a partner or a family member quite young. And I feel like you were kind of held in this very constricted energy for a really long time. That life force was literally throttled there could have been you know depression anxiety um, mental health challenges as well so you could have just had one of those lives where it's like nothing works out for me I'm keeping on being disappointed I I keep on you know things you know things keep getting taken from me is what I'm really feeling and I feel that in this lifetime you know your lesson is really to move beyond a you know a feeling of scarcity or or sometimes it can slip into that victim mentality guys and really realize the potential for your life so that's what i'm feeling with the five of cups um let's jump into the tarot the first position is who who you were well it's interesting with the judgment energy you were definitely in that lifetime there to have some pretty heavy duty karmic lessons i feel and i feel that part of your purpose kind of jumping into the next position here was to to liberate beyond that to get power back to to begin to 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 live again you know it's almost like dead man walking kind of energy you were supposed to liberate beyond the grief and learn a lot of lessons around karma you know death dying and what that really and what that really meant maybe you were supposed to realize the infinite aspect of the soul and that you know they're they're really you know yes we leave our body but we we carry on as an energy that goes back to to the collective i've got the knight of wands here um that is the energy of sagittarius but the knight of wands uh, when unbalanced can be somebody who's a little bit reckless um you know you could you could have been you could you could have been reckless maybe there was um the ability that you were involved in somebody else passing or something like that that is something that is coming through here um i feel like you were somebody who maybe didn't really put down roots anywhere you might have been somebody who was kind of nomadic you know moving around a lot not really being able to to create and because of that you know there was a lot of things not working out for you i do feel that it was quite a challenging lifetime for you so that's the knight of wands energy but you really wanted to live you know your passion your way it's quite a it's a rebel without uh, a, a rebel without a cause energy is what is really coming through here it's like my life on my terms is what i'm feeling but because of that, and it could have been because of the grief and things like that, that you decided to, okay, well, you know what, I'm just going to do life on my terms now. 
So life purpose, six of wands, yeah. The life purpose was most was definitely to get victory over the darkness, victory over your own internal darkness, over the sadness, and to master your em emotions is what I'm feeling because I think they really did get the better of you at times. <laughs> Akashic Records, that is the card of predestiny, guys. Yeah, so there's a heavy, a heavy karma energy here. Akashic Records is okay. You know, you were meant to get a victory over those soul lessons that you did sign up for um, in the life. Let's get one more. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you were meant to do the work over that. And I think also that you had lessons around work and earning money. But I feel like you, you know, weren't really in that provider role. You were more like, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to, it's more of like an irresponsible energy is what I'm really feeling. So probably in this lifetime that you're in now, you're learning a lot of lessons around, okay, how do I be responsible? How do I be more grounded? You know, it's like coming down to all of the kind of mundane and practical things. So life lesson, five of cups again, we've talked about that. The life lesson was to... Get that emotional mastery to re relieve your relieve yourself um, from from that grief. It comes in with the Ten of Pentacles here. So the the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, I feel that the grief could have been um, from a family situation. The Ten of Pentacles can be the breaking up of a family. Um, it can be the loss of all that stability and security. So that could have happened quite young and you could have been this person that's almost like the orphan energy who's like, well, I don't have any, any solid base here. I'm just going to become the wanderer on my own. But you've carried the sadness and the grief with you as well. So your life lesson was actually to find that stability and security within yourself and to actually create that very thing that you, that you lost. So... It wouldn't surprise me if in, in this life you have a really, really strong pull to create family, to create this kind of happy home environment, to really be grounded in that way. Um, what do you need to leave behind? Six of Pentacles. Get the clarifier before I read that one. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the Six of Pentacles is this energy of I just... I never have enough, right? I never got what I needed. Um, I maybe never had the money. I never had the love. I never had the security. You know, literally feeling like the beggar of life. You know, when you kind of left and went out, you could have even been very much, you know, I feel very much on your own and unsupported. So I think you need to leave behind this energy of I am unsupported in this life or I will never get enough and move into the emperor energy, which is I can receive what I need and I am open to receive. Um, the three of cups is, you know, it's time to move in from sadness into joy in this lifetime and understand that if you do plant the seeds and do the work which you didn't do in the previous lifetime that you can grow abundance for yourself you can get that life force moving and you know you really can create that ten of pentacles uh, reality for yourself so scorpio why did you incarnate as yourself now we've got the two of wands and when i saw this card i just felt to realize that you have so much potential and possibilities and to make the most of that um, and to also leave behind, you know, comfort zones. It's interesting that, you know, grief and sadness and, and staying in, st keeping ourselves small because of that can actually become a comfort zone because it's the known and it's, you know, sometimes better for us than, than getting out there and putting ourselves into the unknown king of swords aquarius energy so i feel that you know you incarnated as yourself now to broaden your horizons to really um get out there to explore to experience even though you have this kind of solid home base here to actually live th through passion and purpose not just from a survival mode here is what's coming through the king of swords is somebody who you know, is understanding the big picture and making really good strategic moves for their lives, which is something that you didn't do in the past life. So you're here to 
to you know to create to be strategic to to build all the things that you didn't build and to really realize your potential and possibilities and um just as an energy uh, in terms of you know your your career and everything in this life the king of swords with the two of wands for me would be somebody who is amazing at planning and organizing somebody who could coordinate events do project management somebody who is you know um a really good communicator that kind of role somebody maybe even financial planning it's like all of those lessons from your past life <laughs> channeled into this one it's like okay well now i know how to help others because i know the pitfalls okay now message from your past life self wheel of fortune anything is possible is what i heard when i pulled this card you know this is your chance to change your luck to have all of the things and receive what you didn't in the in the life I, you've come from just trust in that you know and trust that that karmic cycle is complete this is your time to receive four of wands <laughs> this is your time to be happy this is your time to build ultimate stability and security for yourself this is your time to receive abundance and your time to create that beautiful sense of stable family life that you didn't have in that past life so Scorpio, that is your past life reading. I hope that gave you some insight into your current incarnation. Uh, do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It's also quite a different type of reading. It may or may not resonate for you. Um, you can drop me a comment and let me know how you went with it. And also um, you can support the channel by subscribing or liking and sharing the video. I will see you back here for plenty more readings very soon. Bye for now.